Hello there to all my friends, future friends, and Steam It followers. I am King of Dew, and I am doing my introduction video for Steam It. It's been long overdue, and I've been enjoying the platform, and I decided, you know what, I just hit 100 followers, I need to celebrate, and I also need to make sure everyone on Steam It actually has an opportunity to get to know me a little bit better. So this video is actually going to be a little bit of background about myself, what my channel is about, and uh, hopefully you'll discover if I'm someone you want to hang out with and get to know and talk to me on Steemit. So a little bit about me. Uh, I actually started a YouTube channel a little while ago. Only It's only been a few weeks, um, and it's focused on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology solutions. And essentially... I set out to do the channel really to connect with the community, uh, really to get to know you guys, um, to uh, find new opportunities both in my professional career um, and just in life in general. There's so much opportunity um, around this technology and it really gets me excited and it's something I'm super passionate about. But before I get into about uh, what my channel is about and everything, this video is really about who I am and I want to talk about who I am. So I am uh, going on and coming up here on like about seven, eight years. I've lost track of professional e-commerce experience. I've worked in distribution, direct to consumer, business to business, every facet of e-commerce. Um, my e-commerce history dates all the way back to the 90s. When I was a child, I actually uh, was fascinated with my brother selling some cards on a little website he made. We were using a, a, a shopping cart website that was way ahead of its time. We used to do transactions that um, took 100% trust, right? Uh, the people had to trust us 100% as well. You know, they would pay. We would, we would sell the cards. We were selling Star Wars cards. If you guys remember customizable card games like the Star Wars game, we, we loved that game, and we were selling Star Wars cards. I was fascinated by that. And um, so that was my fir first introduction to e-commerce, um, you know, and, and then also my, my, my history dates all the way back to some of you remember eBay before we had PayPal. Um, you know, I remember my father doing transactions. We go out of the post office and get cashier's checks and things like that. Um, so so e-commerce has always been in my blood uh, in a way. It's always been a part of who I am and what I do. The, uh, the day I got my first credit card, the first business I ever started in e-commerce was I, I took my credit card down to Goodwill and I bought a bunch of retro t-shirts and I literally posted them all on eBay and I posted them for basically three day auctions or five day auctions um, and I started the price at my break even essentially just to get my business going. You know, I needed feedback, etc. Uh, my account was brand new. Um, that was almost been 15 years ago now. And the great part about that business is that what didn't sell, I would take back to Goodwill for credit. They would give me credit. And so I would then just go pick out new shirts to relist. So I essentially had access to, to free inventory. Um, they would house all the inventory for me. I had rotating stock. And, and I did that for a few weeks. Uh, uh, pretty successfully made some money um, and then kind of just moved on but that was that was my first e-commerce uh, business I started on my own uh, but currently today I'm all grown up now and I've been doing e-commerce for a while um, and I'm uh, working at a company uh, in Vancouver Washington and it is uh, a top 5,000 ink company so one of the fastest growing companies in the United States last year um, I'm the director of digital marketing. Uh, I think my team, I just added four more people, so I've lost track. I think I have, I have a team of 10. We do full-time digital marketing efforts on behalf of premium brands, um, and uh, it's really, really cool. It's really exciting to be a part of that many brands. We get to, working with so many brands, I get to see brands fail and succeed um, every day. Right, so one year for me is about the equivalent of 40 years in how much I get to see and learn, because that's about how many partners we have right now. I get to see them uh, make huge mistakes and learn from them, and, and it doesn't cost me anything. And then I get to see huge wins as well, and, and, and learn the right way to do business as a whole. 
both uh, brick and mortar and digital. So that's that's what I do every day. Um, and then in my free time, I do this. This is this is what I'm passionate about, um, and this is what I've been spending a lot of my free time uh, working on is bringing you cryptocurrency news and blockchain news. I do a channel on YouTube called Do News. If you subscribe to this video at the end, essentially. Uh, you're subscribing to the news channel I do because this is the channel for that. Um, other things about where I work, uh, which is really cool, is we actually uh, have earned the award for the Portland Business Journal. So we're, I'm in the Portland, Oregon area, and the uh, Portland Business Journal actually awarded us the most creative agency in the area. So um, definitely really cool place to work. The people I work with are super innovative some of the brightest minds, forward thinkers. We're doing things that, um, you know, even the biggest corporate corporations you can think of aren't doing yet in terms of content and marketing um, and bringing it all together and really delivering a end user experience when it comes to e-commerce. So um, besides that, a little bit of fun stuff in my professional is I love Star Wars. You'll learn that real quick about me. Um, I'm super passionate about the power and potential of video games. I, I believe in gamification um, and taking uh, game theory and applying it to business concepts. Um, it works. Uh, if you can figure out what makes people ad addicted to something and apply that into their work, they become addicted to their jobs and they perform really well and they give a lot of focus and effort. Not in, not in the sense that you're trying to take advantage of anybody, but you actually... The real goal, if you get, if you true gamification, is creating fun. The definition of fun um, is very vague, but in the gaming industry, it's pretty much agreed upon that the definition of fun is learning in a safe environment. If you learn and you're safe, you will have fun. And if you think about that for a while, you'll start realizing that that is actually true. You have the most fun in life when you are in a safe environment um, where you feel like you're in control, there's no opposition, there's no uh, negative feedback, and um, you're, you're learning something, and learning is definitely a requirement. Um, so other than that, uh, I'm also into uh, fantasy football. You, uh, from when, fan when fantasy football season rolls around, I might be talking about uh, a few... Uh, sleepers uh that you might be interested in picking up for your fantasy team uh just for giggles um i'm a huge data and analytics nerd um i could look at charts and graphs and play with excel all day um that's what i love to do and um I'm al i've also been known to drink a mountain dew from time to time uh, um so what is what is my channel about so that's a little bit about me so what is this channel what is it i really do i mean it's kind of vague. Um, my channel was inspired by Omar Bam. Many of you know him as Crypto, and I was uh, I was I've been watching him for a while, and uh, you know I learned so much from him. He kind of actually gave me the addiction to where it wasn't enough anymore, right? It wasn't enough just to listen to Omar tell me what was going on. I needed to know more. So I have since started spending a lot of my free time um, spending time researching, investigating, understanding um, the technologies, the business solutions. I'm, I'm much more passionate about the business solution side of cryptocurrency than say the, uh, the privacy side or even the currency side. Um, because in my opinion, all, all currencies are pretty much digital already I totally get the whole fiat thing um, and I'm not you know I'm not a fan of that at all I mean let's be real they keep printing money I don't I don't really enjoy that but um, I on my channel I will be focusing more on practical business solutions looking for actual value being created the way that it's going to affect business change business impact jobs uh, both digital and non-digital jobs um, uh, my e-commerce background I'll talk a lot about e-commerce uh, on my channel as well so um, if those things are interesting to you if, if if that's something you want to know more about that's what I cover in this channel you're gonna learn a lot uh, by subscribing to the to my channel um, 
I have two core missions as to why I created this channel. First one was to connect with the community and contribute back to the community. Um, so I realized very quickly that I was getting lonely. Um, I have a friend that's in this with me, but when he isn't around to talk to about these things, um, I felt lonely. I would go to work and I feel lonely uh, because I, I can't have these intellectual conversations about um, the future of the internet. Um, and it, it's not even the internet. Like it, we're still defining what it's going to be, but um, blockchain in general is the next great technology that's going to disrupt uh, the world on a, on a very large scale. So uh, I, I will love talking about it and I just want people to talk with. So I, I figured, you know what? I want to do a channel um, and, and talk to people and we'll just, you know, I'll, I'll get to know a couple people. The other thing I want to do with the channel is raise awareness of blockchain technology because what I've found is people want to start talking to me about it um, and then I just go, I could go for days and uh, it's it's difficult when people want to talk about it and i have limited amount of time right so what, what i've noticed happen is maybe it's that i'm at lunch with a friend or something and they want to and it comes up in conversation 30 minutes isn't enough if you know this stuff uh it's not enough uh us as a community we're all learning how to try to tell other people about this technology and how amazing it is but it's not enough time so it helps that I can kind of introduce them to it, get them interested, and then say, I have a YouTube channel, just just take a listen. Listen to me while you're on the way to work, um, on the way home, uh, when you go for a run, and uh, just listen to a couple episodes and I think you'll learn a lot. Um, and I think you'll have some questions for me. And that's been more successful for me. I found that people, you know, they want to have a conversation about what I'm talking about. They even help me with my channel and identifying when I'm not bringing it down to a low enough level where it's like, you know, for someone new. So um, it's really, really been beneficial for me. And it's helping me with that loneliness if I don't have someone to talk with. Um, what I'm doing is I'm elevating their education to bring them up to a level where we can begin to communicate. And that's really important. And that's the two core missions for my channel. Um, so, basically, why blockchain technology? What is it really that I'm like super passionate about it? Like, why am I so crazy about it? Well, I, grew, I was lucky enough to grow up with a father who was a programmer. I had internet and technology all around me growing up. I had everything I needed um, before most people did. Um, I, in fact, at my work, uh, I'm not the oldest guy there, but um, I know that I've actually used the internet itself longer than anyone else there. I literally have uh, had access to it longer than most people I meet in my life, um, and I actually got to actively be on there using it. Um, and essentially, that time period of when the internet was so new to what it is today... I feel like it's just happening all over again. The last 20 years of internet history, which I know it's longer, but essentially what most people consider the internet era, the last 20 years um, has been crazy. No one could have imagined the things that we have today because of the internet, right? Um, I feel like blockchain is just like the internet, but the difference is huge. The internet was bottlenecked by one, not enough people with the ability to program, speak the languages. There had to be adoption, right? Two, hardware. Back back in the day, when you, you, know, you plug it into the phone jack, right? Super slow internet, super slow hardware, not enough servers. Um, super, super centralized, uh, a lot of control, internet service providers, things like that. We still have those problems today, but not nearly as bad. I feel like with blockchain, we have nothing in the way. We have all the programmers and the, and the minds and the people to actually build on these platforms. We, we don't have any technology bottleneck anymore 
the amount of processing power that we have available is huge. It's incredible. So when I look at blockchain technology, I don't see it with a mere 20 year span. I see more like 10 years. There's a saying that I say on my channel often and I didn't come up with it, but I've heard it elsewhere and I don't know who said it originally, but essentially when people evaluate new technology, they always overestimate what it will be able to do for them in two years. But in 10 years, people always underestimate. And that's the part that blows my mind. Because I think that everybody right now, all this hype around cryptocurrency, everything is to the moon right now. Everyone's talking like it's two years away. It's not. But what's nuts is the things that we're talking about is going to be peanuts compared to 10 years from now. We can't even begin to fathom what it will become. And that's why I get super excited about this. I think the next 10 years is going to be the most exciting time to ever be alive. Things are going to ha entire nations will change. Um, it's going to be nuts. And we're here for it. And we have the technology to actually consume all the information. There's been radical changes over the uh, history of mankind, but now because of the internet and the information and the speed of content creation, we are going to consume it so fast, it's going to be unbelievably fascinating. That's why I'm in this space, because I want to be a part of all of that. I want to be in the know. There's so much opportunity. It's ridiculous. So what is it I actually believe in? Because I know that that's important. You guys want to know what I believe in. Um, people like to hang out with people and learn from people that share the same beliefs. What I believe is that the opportunities in blockchain are endless. Um, there, and again, there's no hardware limitations. And it's going to happen much, much faster than the internet. I believe that decentralization investment opportunities, like these ICOs you keep hearing about, is for everyone. It's not reserved for the rich. You're, you're not tied down by paperwork proving that you're an accredited investor in order to fund something that you believe in. And maybe you, it's not even something that you believe in as much as you believe in the financial return in it, and, and you're not allowed access. The, the, the wall has been built between you and that opportunity. I believe in decentralization is going to give freedom again to the world this time. You know, a lot of people look to the United States and all the freedoms that we have, and we have a lot of freedoms, but we also have a lot of regulations and laws, and it's really getting out of control. But imagine when the world gets to experience financial opportunities. You can be in the middle of nowhere, but if you have a cell phone, you'll have financial opportunities. That is going to change the world. That is what I believe in. I also believe um, that the next generation uh, is going to be crazy affected by blockchain. And it's very important that we're thinking about this and we're trying to understand what that looks like. Um, artificial intelligence is often a buzzword and it sounds kind of out there. But for what I do for a living, there's actually a tool I use, and we use it every day, and it's artificial intelligence at work, literally doing digital marketing for us. It's normal to me. I know for a lot of people it's not real or some fantasy thing, but it's very real. Um, without a doubt, the amount of work it's doing, it would take a lot of people to match what it's doing. I've often heard it said that when you apply artificial intelligence to something like a blockchain with that much information and that many transactions or etc cetera, etc cetera, that it is it is like the ultimate um, fantasy I guess for both AI developers and for anyone who believes that AI is a living thing that the entity the AI itself actually 
is would consume all of it and would want more of it than anything else because of the transparency and the validation that the data provides so when I think about these new innovative AI technologies and the way that I use it and I start thinking about how am I going to apply this in the future it takes a lot of time for me to process it and it's tough for me to envision that future but I know it's coming it's inevitable what type of jobs will there be what type of jobs will they replace there's going to be new jobs what are they what does digital marketing as a whole look like am I completely replaced by an AI what will I be needed for just businesses in general can an AI actually build a business can an AI build one run one I don't know um, it's definitely like way sci-fi fantasy stuff but again uh, I think even AI technology is one of those things where it's only been around as a buzzword for the last year, two years, and you know, but in ten years, it's going to be a big deal. The largest corporations in the world are using it, um, and it's very, very real. So I, th I, I, I believe that blockchain is going to make a big impact. Um, I believe that AI is going to play a role in that. And it's something that I'm always looking uh, to learn more about and I'm monitoring all the time. So that's something that I believe will happen. I also believe that because of that, only the smart will survive. And what I mean by that is it's not a, it's not a level of IQ. It's, it's more of a decision to be smart. It's a decision you can make to say, I am going to invest my time and energy in staying ahead. Um, making sure that I'm a leader in a new innovative space because right now blockchain probably doesn't affect your world I don't know what industry you're in or what you do but it's going to at some point and because you know about this technology you understand the power you understand how it works you know how to utilize it how to plug it into your world there are going to be leadership opportunities for you and I believe that if you're smart, you make the decision to invest the time and learn about it, um, it you're going to reap the rewards. This is this channel and what I'm doing is actually an investment in my own future. It's my goal to be well informed and to position myself to have future opportunities. And I'm not just talking about just you know getting a new job. Um, I'm talking about you know my personal own. Um, aspirations in life right investment opportunities um, business ideas etc um, I also believe one of the things I believe is that in 10 years I think that probably 20% of the planet will have side gigs in a decentralized organization of some kind uh, and uber is proof of concept it's not decentralized but the fact that people are going to be able to take their skills and through smart contracts, etc., through transparency um, and validation that the blockchain technology offers, decentralized organizations will exist and we all will have a nice little side hustle that is part of a decentralized organization. And, and there'll be nothing wrong with that. You know, most people will still, you know, probably 90, 95% of people will still have a job, a centralized organization that you go to every day. Um, but the opportunity to be a part of something else and do something on the side um, will be for everyone. Um, you know, Uber still isn't for everyone, right? You need, a, you need a whole car. You literally have to own a car. It's not for everybody. But what if all you needed was access to internet? So that even someone who doesn't own a personal computer can maybe go to the library, go to the internet cafe, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's what I believe in. So anyhow guys, I've been enjoying Steemit so much. I appreciate all the follows I've gotten. Um, you may not know this about me, but my channel's only been around for about a month. Not even a month, I don't think. 
and it's exploded. I have well over 800 people following me. Uh, it's super humbling. I've really, really enjoyed it. And really, at the end of the day, it's been super inspiring. I really appreciate all the people who are following my channel, people who come over and steam it. I've gotten some amazing upvotes on Steam It. I can't believe um, the amount of Steam It that I've made. Uh, it's awesome. Steam It platform is like incredible, and the technology that underlies it is super, super good stuff. Like, really good. It's best in class when you compare it to the cryptocurrencies and uh, blockchain technologies out there right now. And so it really, really excites me. It's nice to be a part of a community that isn't just here to, uh, yeah, to interact with each other, but really we're, it's a community that's really just trying to actually change the way that we think about content in any form or fashion um, and giving those the keys back to the people creating it. Um, I think that's just that's just fascinating, um, and I believe in it, and I believe that it works, and so I'm a huge fan of Steemit, and um, I'm looking forward to doing doing more. So, anyhow, guys, I am the King of Do, and um, if you liked this video and you like hearing about these kind of topics and concepts, uh, give me a like. Uh, make sure you uh, share the video, um, subscribe, and. Uh, most importantly, I say this a lot on my channel, comment. Whether it's on Steemit or on the video, on YouTube, please, I love talking with you guys. Uh, the best part about what I'm doing is these intellectual conversations that I'm having. I, I have people bring me information that I never, never could have found without them, and then I'm able to bring them more information to help uh, what they're researching. Um, I actually keep a, uh, an, a, a Google Doc full of every request that's made for, hey, look into this ICO. I want to know more about this coin. How, what do you believe this blockchain um, will do for this industry? I write them all down. And there's so many, I don't know if I'll ever get to them, but my channel is built to provide what my viewers are looking for. And the only way I can do that is through comments. And so I have amazing uh, conversations with people that really help drive my content on my channel. And it's really, really exciting. It's also super gratifying, too, to know that you're, like, I actually get benefit out of it. Like, a ton. But it feels so good to know that the people on the other side are, too. And so that's what my channel is about. I hope you guys will subscribe and, and we can hang out together and get to know each other. Um... Uh, of course, as always, follow me on Steemit. Shoot me a good old upvote, because that's always exciting for me to watch those votes. But um, besides that, uh, I, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I truly believe in blockchain technology and cryptocurrency as the future. And um, I hope that you guys will join me on this wild and crazy ride, because, man, it is a wild and crazy ride that we're on right now, being a part of this community. So... Um, and that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. And I'll see you again soon. Have a nice day.